everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to miscellaneous Monday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today for miscellaneous Monday. We have a Costco shopping haul for you guys. Um, so it's a little different because usually I would wait to get my groceries until like March starts. We've got a few days left here in February, but if you've been following along, you know that I'm doing a six week, um, transformation challenge with kickboxing. And that means I have to buy my groceries at the start of the week. So here we are start of the week. Um, so these groceries obviously will last us quite a while, but I wanted to share this with you. There's a few little things in here I want to give a shout out to. So, uh, let's begin. Let's start with the basics. Okay. Apples, a whole bag of apples. These are the ambrosia apples. You guys, these are my favorite apples. Ambrosia is my favorite followed by gala. If you've never tried an ambrosia apple, and you like something a little sweet, but not too sweet, you got to try the Ambrosia. They're amazing. I love them. My daughter also loves apples, so yay for that. Huge bag of broccoli. You guys, I, I like broccoli. I hate cooking broccoli, right? The smell is not that great, but it's good for you. So got a big bag of broccoli. Um, one thing I have learned is this is fresh broccoli. You guys, you can freeze this. I know a lot of people don't know that. You can freeze this. So for example, family of three here, um, we probably will not eat all of this broccoli by the time it starts going bad. So I'm probably gonna split this in half, freeze half of it for later, and then we can eat the other half fresh. Um, you really don't lose a lot of nutrients when you freeze it. So, you know, it's better it's better not to have to throw it out, right? So big bag of broccoli. What else do we got? Ooh, strawberries. These ones actually look good. The last time I bought strawberries at Costco, they weren't really nice and red like this and they didn't have like any flavor. They were really bitter and horrible. I actually took them back because they were that bad. Um, I mean, you guys, it was 10 bucks right now obviously cheaper probably at Costco than a grocery store they're very expensive I think you get like half of this at a grocery store for probably like $8.99 Costco 10 bucks for this big double one my daughter loves strawberries um, and again you can freeze it you guys you can freeze it put them in smoothies whatever so a big thing of strawberries cantaloupe this has become I wouldn't say one of my favorite fruits, but I definitely have a fondness for cantaloupe now for a few reasons. Number one, it tastes good. It's refreshing. I like it. Number two, it lasts a long time. It's not like some other fruits like berries or bananas that only last you two or three days before they start going bad. The cantaloupe, I was surprised. Usually I'll cut it in half. I'll put half, you know, in saran wrap in the fridge. The other half I'll cut up and put in my Tupperware fridge smarts and use that up. It lasts a long time. The last time I had a cantaloupe, I probably had it in the fridge for like over like a week and a half and it still was good. So yay cantaloupe. I think it was about $5.99, which again, really good price because this whole cantaloupe lasts us a very long time. So I really enjoy the cantaloupe. If you haven't tried cantaloupe, Give it a try. Mushrooms. There goes the rest of my groceries. I'll have to grab those. Mushrooms. Um, I opted for the brown mushrooms this time. I don't know. I feel like the brown ones maybe have a little bit more nutrients in them. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I've never actually researched it. But for some reason, I feel like they do. I don't know. Again, you can freeze them. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get through all of these before they go bad. I might throw some in the freezer. I haven't decided yet. But I do really like mushrooms. Just sauteed um, with what's really good. Saute them with some garlic and lemon juice, salt and pepper. It's really good, you guys. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's really good. Love, love mushrooms. I picked up 
a big thing of baby spinach. I'm not a huge spinach person. I can't just eat spinach on its own. Um, if it's mixed into a salad with other greens, I'm okay with that. Sorry, I have my washing machine going, so if it's loud, I'm sorry. Um, but if you mix it in with some other salad greens, I'm okay with that. On a sandwich, I'm okay with. But I got this specifically, again, I'm not going to eat all of the spinach before it goes bad, so I'm going to freeze it. Um, I specifically bought it to put in my smoothies just to get a few more nutrients, some more greens in there. So baby spinach for the win. Um, is that it for, oh, no. I'm like, is that it for the veggies? Hang on. Hang on, my veggies fell. One second. Okay. The mini cucumbers. Okay. I don't know what it is about these mini cucumbers. I love them. They're great. We used to buy full-size cucumbers. Nothing wrong with them. And then I found these minis. These are great because my daughter loves cucumber. Like, I can just give her one cucumber. Just wash it, cut the ends off. Here you go. She'll eat the whole thing. She always gets one in her lunch at school every day, a full mini cucumber. I also like it because I can take a mini cucumber, cut it up into little pieces, make a little cucumber salad out of it. They're really tasty, really good. And these, again, there's quite a few in here. These will last us probably a couple weeks, probably. Um, again, I keep them in my fridge smart, so I find they do last a little bit longer in there. So love the cucumbers. Okay, that's it for like fruits and veg. Cheese strings is a must, especially if you're a mom. My daughter also gets one of these every day in her lunch. Um, and they're fun for us too, let's be honest. If I'm getting a little hungry or I'm craving some stuff, I usually grab a cheese string and a handful of almonds or something like that or some grapes. They're really good. Um, you get 40 in here. I want to say it was about $13, $14, which is a really good price. Because at the grocery store, they are really expensive. And these are good for a long time. Um, these are good till May 22nd. So they'll be gone way before then. Um, so had to get more cheese strings. Okay, let's get rid of this. And then we'll go into a couple other things. Uh, brioche buns. Again, a must. We used to buy loaves of bread. And I would use those for sandwiches for, you know, my daughter's lunch, that kind of thing. And then I came across these brioche buns, okay? Um, can we just talk about these just for a second? We get uh, 24 buns for $5.99. These are amazing. They're like the perfect size for me and my husband because we can't eat a lot. We both had bariatric surgery. So a lot of times with the bread, we'd get like two slices, right? You'd always just grab two slices. That's what you do. You have toast, two slices. You have a sandwich, two slices. You don't need two slices. Um, these are great. You can grab one. I also use these for my daughter's lunch. She also really likes these. She actually prefers these over normal bread. So this is great. I keep six out at a time in a Tupperware. And then I break the rest into three groups of six and I put them in the freezer. I wrap them in saran, I wrap them in tin foil, I put them in my freezer, and then when I need more buns, I just take six more out. They last me a long time that way. I always have them on hand. They're really good. So I love the brioche buns. Three more things left to share with you guys. I gotta grab the other thing, it fell, one sec. Okay. So these last three things are kind of like my featured products I want to share with you. I can't remember if I talked about these last time or not. These are Dr. Prager's brands, organic California style veggie burgers. Can I just say yum? So the way this started was the three of us, my husband, my daughter, and myself were at Costco on a weekend. And they, of course, had free samples. My daughter loves the free samples. So we tried these. My daughter loved them. And she's fairly picky. She's seven. She's fairly picky. She loved them. My husband liked them. My husband is almost possibly pickier than my daughter. They both like them. So for me, that was a win. These are also vegan, which is another win. My daughter's vegetarian. My husband is not. I try to eat between vegetarian and vegan. I was like, yes, please. I can't remember how much these were. I want to say they were about $16 and there's 12 burgers in here. That's a good price. They're amazing. 
like you can actually see in the patty the veggies like they have them cut up so you can actually see them they're really tasty now they show them here like in a burger form you know like with a bun and all the all the fixins the way i've cooked them is i put them in my air fryer i'll cook them for about you know i don't know 15 minutes total flip them halfway through and we've just been eating them just plain on a plate cut up i've never actually put them in like a burger form i'm sure they're going to be just as good but they're really tasty and that's just the burger on its own with like no toppings no condiments no nothing I'm curious to see, my husband wants to try barbecuing these in the summer. I'm curious to see how they're going to hold up because one thing I will say, they are a little bit, as they cook, they do seem like they get a little bit mushy for a while. And if you try to flip them, sometimes they do break apart fairly easily. So I'm not sure how it's going to work on the barbecue, but we're going to try them. Um, they're also gluten-free, which is amazing if you guys are gluten-free. So yeah, they are... Um, where are they here? Uh, yeah. It says on here somewhere. So you get carrots, zucchini, peas, and spinach in this burger. Uh, there's nine types of veggies, a very high source of fiber. That's another great thing. 180 calories for one, which is really good. There's 12 99 gram vegan burgers. So they're vegan, gluten free, um, keep frozen. Another thing I love. They're individually wrapped. Let me show you. Let me show you what they, because I'm going to take them out and put them in my freezer anyway. Um, there are cooking instructions. You keep them frozen right until you're ready to use them, which is another great thing. No more having to remember to take something out of the freezer for supper. These are ready to go. You just leave them in your freezer until you want to cook them. But look, they're individually packaged. Okay. This is what they look like. Now, I'll admit they do not look appetizing. They don't. Um, but you guys, can you see all the different veggies in there? Now they are fairly thin, I would say. I mean, I would say they're about the thickness of a McDonald's burger. Like they're, they're thin, but you guys, they're really tasty. I, I like really tasty. I'm so glad. Like we, this is the second box we bought. There's 12 burgers in here. We went through a box of 12 in like a week and a half. Like, they're so good. So if you guys want to try something like this, these ones, I highly recommend. I don't think I've ever tried anything by this brand before. I think this is the first thing I've tried. I don't know why. I've seen this brand a lot. But for whatever reason, I just like, ooh, I don't think I'm going to like it. But you guys, these are good. These are like, these, these are going to be on our grocery list for a very long time. Costco, Please do not get rid of this product. Keep carrying this product because they're good. Okay, second last product. Made good granola mini minis. Again, love these. Um, here they come again. In, do I have any to show you? No, I don't. They come in individual bags, okay? Um, you get 10 chocolate chip and 10 mixed berry. Personally, I love them both. I think I like the mixed berry a little bit more than the chocolate chip, which I didn't think would happen. Um, they're really good. These are nut free. Um, they're vegetarian. Uh, I don't think they're, are they, I don't think they are gluten free, but let me check. They are. They're peanut free, dairy free, wheat free, gluten free, sesame free, tree nut free, egg free, soy free, fish and shellfish free. They're really good. Each bag, uh, depending on the bag, the mixed berry is 100 calories for a bag. I think you get about six, five or six of these little balls. The chocolate chip ones are 110 calories for a bag. Um, but they're pretty good. I really like them. Um, is there, I mean, there, there's only like two grams of protein in a bag. So not a huge source of protein, two grams of fiber in a bag. Obviously there's a lot of carbs in here, right? 16, 17 grams. What I like about these is these are a great, like after school snack for my daughter. She feels like she's still getting a bit of a treat because they're sweet and there's chocolate in some of them. Um, I use these after I go to the gym. So after the gym, I have my creatine and my glutamine and I take a bag of these for the carbs to help that stuff work better. 
they're really tasty. I like them a lot. So these are made good granola minis. Um, 20 packs in here. Again, I want to say they were around $13, but I can't remember for sure. But these are really, really good. Okay, the last thing I bought, I have never tried before. I'm excited, okay? It's boba. Okay, why did I get this? That's a great question. Boba, I mean, it's been around for a while. A lot of people love boba. I, I don't think I've ever had boba. I've had the pearls. My friends and I went to a place where they had like a little smoothie and there were pearls in it, but an actual boba, I don't think I've ever had before. But I thought I'd try this. This is called a Boba Bam Instant Boba Pack. This is brown sugar flavored, so I think I'll like that. Um, this is gluten-free, nut-free, preservative-free, and vegan, again. So yay, checks off all my boxes, you guys. You wanna keep this frozen, it says. You get 12 65 gram packs in here. So it says it takes 60 seconds in the microwave. That's what it says. So let's just read it real quick here. You can apparently make this hot or cold. Um, so microwave instructions, you take a boba packet, you cut the corner, you like put it upright in like a cup, put it in the microwave for 60 seconds, add one cup of ice, and then you add your own uh, milk or milk alternative, and then you stir it and enjoy. Then you can also do it on the stove top where you add the packet into boiling water for three to five minutes, add your cup of ice, add your milk or milk alternative, stir and enjoy. That's all it says. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, we're gonna try it and see. The ingredients are water, sugar, tapioca starch, modified tapioca starch, caramel color, natural flavor, and cellulose gum. One pack is 110 calories. Obviously, lots of carbs and sugar in here, you guys. 28 grams of carbs, 18 grams of sugar, no protein, no fiber, none of that. This is not a healthy snack or treat, but it's fun every once in a while. Might be fun to have. So this will be coming up on a Try It Thursday. We are going to try this. So if you guys are interested in what this is like, make sure you have subscribed to my channel so you do not miss the Try It Thursday when we try brown sugar boba. And that is it for my Costco uh, shopping haul for today. Thank you guys so much for watching our Miscellaneous Monday. We will see you guys next time. Bye.